All right, uh, here we have uh, my 1989 Alaskan Smokercraft uh, 12 foot fishing boat. Decided to make a little video, show you guys kind of how I have it set up and what I plan to do in the future. Um, so we'll start off here with the back. I have a 15 horsepower Johnson and have that mounted on this special rubber transom pad. Helps uh, keep the motor in place and reduce vibration. I'll uh, have the fuel line coming in right here, going under the seat. I have a spare two gallon tank of gas there. My uh, tool and emergency kit right here. I also have a motor lock mounted right there, made by Mastercraft. It won't stop te thefts, but it will definitely deter thefts. You know, if you stop by uh, 30 minutes in a store to pick up some um, fish and supplies, you know, at least you know somebody won't just unclip it and run. As well as with the Minn Kota, I also have a lock right there. You can find these online. Uh, I, I made this trans, uh, this um, trolling motor mount myself. Out of some, it cost me probably about. 30 bucks or so, much cheaper than the $100, $150 for a mate, um, store made one. So it's just some angle aluminum with some stainless steel bolts. What I did here for this is I took a piece of 2x6 and then wrapped it in aluminum with stainless steel staples. So it's a very, you know, granted it's not adjustable, but I made it work for my setup here. So I got the trolling motor right there main motor right there got the fish finder transducer mounted right down below and uh, those there are mounts for uh, wheel uh, so you can wheel so you can hand launch it we sometimes go out to these small lakes out in the woods they don't allow them an uh, outboard so we just use the trolling motor and we have to hand launch it as there's no ramp um, okay, we got the bilge pump right down there. The switch for it right up here. And the water exhausting right up on top. I didn't want to drill a hole in the side. We got the uh, Encoda plug in right there. Okay. Got three fish holders right there. Fish, uh, fish rod holders. We got the seats. With the swivel base and I got the bases that you just clamp down with wing nuts right there but I found that if you lean too far back it'll slip off the aluminum so I took a couple of does and um, used stainless steel zip screws by the way I use all stainless steel hardware on the boat and uh, you want to as well I have some beverage holder here I have a watertight uh, holder here for my wallet and keys one for my iPhone, you can actually use the phone through that. These both float. Have the uh, fish finder right there. Okay, so I think it pretty much does it with the back of the boat. Move on forward here. Let me swap my view. So, I encase the fuel line and the electrical lines in that gray flexible conduit and screwed into the ridges there, the ribs. Okay, got the front seat right here, got the battery right there, and I used galvanized L brackets with stainless steel screws. And that's the connections on that right there. That's screwed in there, won't move. Got the fuel tank right here. So this is a really great idea. So what you do is, you, I went to McClendon Hardware, any hardware will have this, and I got some of this um, nylon, um, it's like this nylon web kind of strapping, kind of same thing you have on backpacks. I tripled it up down there and zip screwed it into the rib. And then I put the, um, the locks, the click, clicking locks right on top. And same thing on the other side. Keeps your fuel tank in place pretty well. And you want to fill it up, you just open it up. Click back in. 
okay and I uh, have my anchor sitting up here some line here what I do to keep it out of the way is I put these two um, hooks in there and just wrap the line around it I have a anchor holder right here so um, what you do is you twist this and the line will drop out here you hook your anchor onto it and it drops your anchor down and then you just winch it back up okay so now let's look at the trailer here I completely restored the trailer it was a uh, pretty bad shape did new hardware stripped it down painted it new uh, winches um, jack stand <coughs> have a really good lock here to prevent cutting works pretty well okay have uh, put new wheels on new axle this here I love so I found this at Walmart it uh, it's a retractable 10 foot strap so I, I bolted it to the side there and what I do is I simply pull it out take it over the boat to the other side hook it to the trailer and then I can uh, strap it down and then when I'm done push that red button and it auto retracts right up into there kind of hard to do with one hand that way I don't have to use transom tie downs or lose them anywhere or anything like that have uh, put new LED lights on the trailer there okay now I'm going to go through what I have stored under the seats. I also have four fishing rod holders here. You just snap into this area here. And they're fully adjustable. They close. I got these at Cabela's. Have four of these and I got set points all around the boat there. Back behind okay. uh, underneath the back seat there I also have an extra orange emergency life vest. Okay, so under the middle seat here I have two fenders. Collapsible fishing net really nice net two emergency collapsible oars and also a, fl a signal flag you can never be too prepared so it's always good to have these okay up front here under the front seat as I said I have the anchor and then I have an emergency throw line I uh, may seem this may seem like overkill but hey it's good to have everything so you simply so I think it's a 50 foot line and you can uh, it's curled up in such a way that you um, can um, you can loot what you do is you loosen up you pull out some of the rope and then you uh, you can uh, with the rest of the rope inside it creates kind of a weight inside there and you spin it around and can throw it quite far and the rope releases out the back as it's flying through the air um, and then the rope floats as well as the housing okay and then this here is watertight and floats as well. Up top is not watertight, just the bottom compartment. What I have up here is my floating keys, a whistle, spare fuses, spare spark plugs, miscellaneous hardware. Okay. Open the top here. So here I have a spark plug wrench, some cord, emergency pull cord. Um, I needed that once and didn't have it, uh, so I'm definitely going to carry one. Some electrical tape, an air horn, some polyurethane marine sealant, uh, that's a lanyard. I have a couple of uh, different types of pliers. Okay, down here I have a hammer. Uh, I needed one once and didn't have it, so uh, I learned my lesson. Some carbon choke cleaner four emergency flares and a fire extinguisher I know the fire extinguisher should be in a more accessible place but um, I'm going to leave it there for now I'm probably going to mount it back on the transom later have some uh, oil here two cycle oil what's nice with this got this at Walmart it has your mixes right here so works really well and the boat registration in here as well as a uh, first aid kit so it's kind of something everything every boat should have at the minimum uh, let's see I don't think I've uh, missed anything 
get a view from the top here so what I plan on doing in the future is I plan on covering the deck from here all the way to the front I'm not sure if I'm going to use carpeted plywood or um, texture painted sealed plywood or not I, I want to tend towards the carpet because out when it's 80 degrees and you're out in the water this aluminum gets super hot so having carpet would be nice so you don't burn your feet every time you touch this bare aluminum anyway so the, the plow uh, the uh, deck would be covered up here with two big access doors that way I can keep everything here in the front um, and then the anchor up there and then what I want to do is add a 12 volt powered um, anchor lift mechanism so I'm in Coda makes one for about $165. I want to add some navigation lights. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to add a instrument panel right there or somehow to the side here in front of the driver's seat. So I want to add, kind of add a panel in there and have all my uh, switches and fuses and a speedometer gauge. I'm going to retrofit a fuel gauge into my tank um, and have a um, you know a voltage uh, gauge um, you know switches for your bilge pump navigation lights uh, everything and also here in the front of this area I want to add a live well with uh, with the works with the aerator the pump and all that all controlled by the um, gauge cluster panel back there so probably it's July now so probably this winter I'll have time to do all that I will definitely um, keep you guys updated and post a new video video when that comes along okay let's take another shot from the side here and I think that's pretty much it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed